We are a generation who loves God. We are a generation who trusts in God. We will always hope in God. Greetings, greetings, greetings in the wonderful, precious, holy name of Jesus. It is so good to be with you. It's another day that God has given us our good, our gracious God has given us another day to live on and to live to the fullest. It is Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez here coming to you from the GFM United Prayer and Revival Ministry Studios. It's so good to be with you. And I'm so happy I am rejoicing for another day. The grace of God is sufficient even today. And I want to encourage you as we begin. No matter what you might be facing, you can believe and trust in God. Give it to the Lord, commit it to the Lord in prayer, and He will see you through. He will deliver you. He will come through for you. Because we serve a good God. We serve a gracious God. We serve a merciful God. Hallelujah. My dear friend, I want to pray for you special prayers for healing today. Perhaps you haven't been feeling so well in your body. And I want to pray for you. I truly believe there is healing available in Christ to all who pray and ask the Father through Jesus Christ. And all we need to do is trust and believe. And sometimes the healing happens instantly. Sometimes it happens over time. But nevertheless, the healing happens. And God is good. God is able to do what no man can do. God is able to deliver you. God is able to set you free. Put your hope and your trust in God. And it shall be well with you. One mindset that is so important in life. It's so important in any situation that we find ourselves in. Whatever the situation is, and whatever the situation looks like, a mindset that we should have is if we win, we praise Him. If we lose, we still praise Him. And that way God gets all the praise all the time. And we reach a stage where we have matured in Christ. And what matters the most to us is God being with us. What matters more than anything else is the presence of God in our lives. Because we know and the knowledge of this becomes even more that the time that we spend here on earth is limited. But after that there is still eternity. Life doesn't end after what we in human terms call death. The Lord refers to it as sleeping. Life doesn't end there. I truly believe there is eternity still after this. And it's so important that we have our heart and our mind in the right place in Christ as born again believers. And we follow what the word of God says. So let us begin. We're going to begin by welcoming the Holy Spirit. And then I'll begin to pray for you as the Holy Spirit leads me. Wherever you are in your own words, wherever you are listening to this, welcome the Holy Spirit in that place. Precious Holy Spirit of God, I welcome you. Come Lord Holy Spirit, take over control and help us to pray. Help us to press in. And help us to receive from the Father even today. Help us to grow and to grow closer to Jesus day by day and to grow stronger in our spiritual walk and help us as we pray for we know not what to pray or how to pray or what is the most pressing matter we should speak to the Father about help us to pray in line with the word Amen My dear friend now let us begin to praise God for a few moments and as we discern God's presence then I'll begin to pray for you in your own words just praise Him and mean it with all of your heart Father, you are the Alpha and the Omega. You are the beginning and the end. You are the first and the last, the one who was, the one who is, the one who is to come. Our God who speaks and you live. Our God who makes a way where there seems to be no way. Our God who makes a way where there is no way humanly possible. You're the God who makes a way for us. You're the God who fights for us. The battle belongs to you. Our life comes from you. Our healing comes from you. 
the blessings that we receive come from you. The doors and opportunities that we walk through are divine blessings from you. And we receive them with open hearts. We give you praise and thank you for always being with us and never leaving us. For we truly believe what is written in your word, that you will never leave us, you will never forsake us. And mother and father can forsake us, but you will still be with us. Even when our closest people leave us, you're with us. And for that we give you praise. We lift up your name today and we thank you for your goodness. We thank you for the healing that is available through Christ Jesus our Lord. And we thank you for deliverance from all forms of infirmity. In Jesus' name, Amen. Hallelujah. My dear friend, I discern God's presence. Now as we begin, I encourage you, comment and agree and connect in faith. Let us believe and trust God for God to do what only He can do. Father, I pray for my dear friend. I pray for total and complete healing in my dear friend's body. Father, you know what my dear friend who has tuned in is going through. Perhaps it might even just be a simple headache that my dear friend is feeling at this moment as they watch this. Or it might be something more serious. Whatever it is, we truly believe there is nothing too difficult for you. And we pray today, Father, for your divine intervention in the area of health. I pray for healing over my dear friend. I pray that you will deliver my dear friend from every demonic attack of infirmity on their life. I pray this for my dear friend, your dear son, my dear friend, your dear daughter. Wherever my dear friend is trusting you for healing, whether it's in their own body or it's for a loved one, I pray for your divine intervention and for healing. And I pray for supernatural intervention from you and for long life. I pray that the scripture will be fulfilled. It says we shall live to see your goodness in the land of the living. And we shall taste and see of the blessing that makes rich and adds no sorrow. I pray that you will give my dear friend strength to walk in their purpose and destiny. My dear friend, dear son who is tuned in, my dear friend, dear daughter who is tuned in. Give my dear friend strength to press on and not to give up. Bless my dear friend mightily. Surround my dear friend with songs of deliverance. And take my dear friend to a greater level and a greater glory. Take my dear friend up from glory to glory. And bless my dear friend mightily, mightily, mightily. I pray that you will do a miracle where my dear friend is trusting you for a divine miracle and divine intervention. Whether it's an instant miracle or whether it happens over time, I pray that you will do a miracle. Today we choose to put our rest and our trust in you. Because you are the God who delivers us. You are the God who gives us peace. We ask this in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen and Amen. My dear friend, receive peace. And receive the comfort of the Holy Spirit even as you watch this. Receive total and complete healing in your body. Right now with the power in the name of Jesus. May you be healed, may you be delivered, may you be set free. May God's divine intervention and divine hand be at work in your life, and may he set you free. Wherever anyone told you there is no hope, may God intervene divinely, and may he shock those people who told you there is no hope. May you see God's divine deliverance and His goodness in Jesus' name. And may the grace of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and Amen. Thank you for watching. If you were blessed by this video and you would like to support us to keep making content like this, you can do so via PayPal or Patreon.
The links are provided in the description. God bless you and goodbye.